Ah oui, voilà, j'ai bouffé du burger, mon ami. Laisse tomber, quoi. Benoit, congratulations on another very violent victory. So I'm guess, uh, how did the fight play out in there compared to how you expected it to play out in camp? Uh, you know, I, I expected to be like this. Um, um, it, it, he was gonna go forward, try to catch me with uh, with some heavy shots, and uh, I, wo I worked. Uh, but you know, my style is to be aggressive, so I, I just chased him. And uh, we worked a lot on uh, distance management, and um, uh, I, I wanted to, to to test his ground, you know, but because I, I have seen his good wrestler, but I have seen uh, there is a lot of gap on the ground. So um, uh, I, I was not uh, afraid to go on my back to try to sweep him. It, it works the first time very fast. So the second time I was like, oh, why, why, why should I defend the takedown? Let's go. And uh, I tried the sweep again. He, f he felt in danger. He, he got up. And after the scramble, because I already kicked him a lot with uh, low kicks and body kicks, I knew the, the heart rate is going to be a bit high, the hands a bit down. And uh, let's go for high reward with high kick. And it worked perfectly. Oh, well, perfect explanation right there. I'm, I, I am curious, though, like Matt said, that a lot of his knockouts have been with his back to the fence. Lately, you got him going back. So uh, is that open? And you did see that in camp that with that head kick with his hands down. Um, n not really. Um, but uh, usually when I land uh, some uh, just I don't need to land a lot of body kicks and low kicks uh, to have uh, the ends of the guys going a bit down. And, uh, you know, we just had a scramble. And I feel like okay, he's gonna. Want, he, he doesn't want the scramble anymore with me because he feels a little bit in danger. I feel in in, in the posture and in the way he he, he, he tried to to go up. Um, it was not his game plan, uh, and I feel it. And uh, yeah, I, I explode. Uh, I, if you are not a complete fighter, you are going go, gonna leave a lot more openings. So I took the opening. You said eventually you want that BMF title and then you want that lightweight title. I'm curious, how many fights away do you think you are and before you get that fight? To be honest, I don't care. I, I'm going to fight everybody they gave me. But um, I would like uh, really to, to make a big uh, main event in France. So we can, we can have two uh, UFC Paris, you know, one UFC in Provence and one UFC in Paris. Maybe Bordeaux. It's, it's not far from, uh, from uh, my hometown and it's a big city. Uh, it will be sold out right away. I uh, I uh, I can assure you that, and uh, yeah, a guy like Dustin Poirier or Gamrot, you know, it's it's unfortunate unfortunate for him, but he got a victory because the guy got injured with a physiof with a low kick or a body kick, so I'm asking for him again. Um, or Dustin Poirier, it, he, he he just lost. He's ranked. Uh, he has to fight a guy behind him because he's on a on a lose. Uh, I know he's a big name, but uh, I'm going to be a, an even bigger name if I'm working like that. And I'm working with discipline, um, with my team, uh, my family, everybody is pushing me. I, I feel like my own, my all, all the country is pushing me to be more perf in, in a performance mood and to be, to be good. The commentary seemed to think that it would be difficult for you to get opponents because you're so dangerous and you're not as highly ranked and maybe you're not as well known in America. Do you think it will be? difficult to get these big names to fight you considering the risk that you bring in there uh, to, to be honest uh, i'm gonna thank matt frivola for for giving me this opportunity you know only two months uh, okay one guy has been accepting i, I was uh, um, not surprised it was him especially for veterans day uh, and uh, like this guy gave me this opportunity um, okay, I, I got a little bit of hype, but he's, he's even a bigger name than I am right now. And um, he's on home soil. He didn't have to take this fight, but uh, he, he, I believe he likes the history and he likes challenges uh, like I do. And uh, he wanted a tough fight and uh, I'm going to bring you war uh, no matter who you are. Last one for me. We saw you guys saluting in there after, like you both saluted. So how... How special was it to fight on Veterans Day, you know, given your history? Yeah, very special because um, I got a lot of friends of mine um, that got injured, uh, um, injured uh, physically or injured in the head. And, uh, um, you know, war is, uh, is, is, is not happy business. It, it is um, always marking your man. So um, uh, it's, it, it's, it's important to... To, to give support to, to people who have been suffering from uh, 
um, as victim or as uh, as the fighter um, on uh, on the terrain. You know. Uh, Benoit over here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've often heard you talk about your like aura of invincibility, embodying the God of War spirit during fight week. So I'm just wondering, could you? Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how do you get that headspace? How do you maintain that aura heading into a fight with so many eyes and pressure? Like MSG, big card. So, like, how did you stay uh, concentrated in that headspace? Uh, it's a mix of, uh, I believe it's a mix of, a mix of uh, who you are, uh, uh, who you are born from, uh, how you are educated, um, what is your spirit, and uh, how much you work, and... Um, of course, um, experience as well. Um, I'm getting a more and more experienced fighter. I've al always been a brawler in my life, you know, so th that, uh, that doesn't change anything. It's just um, with experience, you, you have time to use it uh, well and uh, to use it when it's needed, not all, not all the time. Um, yeah, I, I had a very good education. Um, I'm a happy man. Uh, I have a family. I'm a husband. Uh, I just um, got my first daughter. My 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 staff, my friends, and my my wife have all sacrificed uh, themselves to 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 uh, accord me to to have a good fight camp. So um, I'm in due to a lot of people. Um, I have to do a good job because uh, uh, there are such a lot of people that are giving me love and support. So I cannot miss. Uh, it's. Uh, it's 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 already written. And then last one for me. Did you get a chance to watch the coming event? If you did, reaction on Tom winning? Yeah, I mean, uh, jab to the body and uh, straight to the head. It always work. Uh, Joshua may I had a, a big knockout like that. Anthony Joshua in boxing not a long time ago. Uh, he, he got rocked just before, and he came back. It's heavyweight, you know. Heavyweight, uh, it goes very fast. Uh, Benoit, félicitations pour la performance. Euh, T'as pensé quoi de l'ambiance durant toute la semaine d'être en territoire un petit peu hostile et finalement ensuite le public qui t'a salué à la fin euh, Vraiment très satisfait parce que lorsque tu as tu donnes pas d'émotion à un public, euh, tu seras ni hué ni acclamé. Lorsque tu es hué ou acclamé, c'est que le combat veut dire quelque chose pour le public et euh, je l'ai ressenti et j'étais content de. Pour le coup, j'ai beaucoup plus d'expérience à être hué parce que j'ai souvent affronté les favoris en territoire hostile. Alors certes dans des salles plus petites. Mais euh, ça m'a fait plaisir parce que ça m'a ramené un peu à mes débuts euh, où euh, pour, pour 1000 balles, je faisais euh, le common event contre, contre un Polonais du coin. Et euh, donc, euh, non, non, c'était euh, incroyable. Et bien sûr, euh, le, le, le retournement un peu de situation après le, le, après le, le, le geste, qui était, euh, le, le finish qui était, qui était sympa, euh, c'était vraiment euh, quelque chose qui m'a plu. Est-ce que tu dirais que c'est ta meilleure performance jusqu'à maintenant je, je, je dirais qu'avec le temps, je deviens meilleur. Je commence à atteindre quand même un, un, un certain niveau. Mais euh, je pense avoir les armes pour, pour aller déjà beaucoup plus haut que ça. Et, et je, 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 je m'en suis encore rendu compte euh, ce soir. Euh, parce que j'ai à la fois beaucoup de, beaucoup de bonheur pour, pour ce qui a été accompli pour le travail du staff. Mais j'ai aussi de la lassitude. Euh, parce que c'est une catégorie de poids où il faut beaucoup de temps, beaucoup de finish, beaucoup de combats pour monter dans les classements. Euh, beaucoup de travail, beaucoup de sacrifices. Donc là, ça va être euh, beaucoup de vacances <rire> avant de revenir avec beaucoup d'envie. Euh, mais mais, mais c'est vraiment euh, là les petits aléas, les petits détails de ce combat qui m'ont donné envie. C'était un peu ce côté vétéran, vétéran de un mec qui aime les challenges, qui tape fort. Euh, les gens, ils voulaient me voir contre un mec qui tape fort, même si j'affronterai plus jamais un mec qui tape aussi fort qu'Elysée, eux, parce que je ne suis pas dans, dans la même KT. Euh, les gens, ça, ne s'en rendent pas encore compte, mais c'est vraiment un challenge qui m'a... Qui qui m'a plu quand même et donc euh, je me suis dit bon il faut que j'y aille et ma femme s'est sacrifiée avec ma fille encore pour euh, pour me permettre ça voilà donc euh, c'est euh, c'était euh, c'était ouais c'était quelque chose de, de cool et dernière question pour moi on sait contre qui tu as envie de revenir mais tu voudrais revenir quand et ben ça dépend euh, moi j'avais entendu parler d'un d'un ufc paris en france en mars euh, ou d'un UFC en France en mars. Donc, euh, s'il y a des problèmes avec Cyril et Manon pour avoir un main event, euh, euh, maintenant, je me présente comme, euh, comme un potentiel main event. Euh, si on met un gamme ou un Dustin Poirier, je pense que ça devrait le faire. I know you had a powerful message there at the end. Could you feel the New York crowd 
switching to your side and giving you support. And also when you were making that message, thanking America for the help in the past, did you realize that the former president was sitting in the off in the audience listening to you as well? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I heard a lot of thing and uh, there is a lot of thing uh, to say about this president, but uh, there is one thing I like about him is, uh, is, uh, is easy to understand, you know, he's making it easy for everybody to understand what he means and what he says. So that's something I like. Um, and uh, he has my respect for that. And uh, yes, I'm a happy man to, to have the opportunity to fight in America, in New York. And uh, um, uh, this is a big card in America. So there is always a political people of, the, of America that, that has to be there. And um, I just hope that in Paris we we will get soon the same uh, um, the same surrounding in uh, for our next fights with uh, why not our president for for fights because uh, right now there is a lot of uh, love for MMA in France but uh, the the political world is still uh, one uh, one foot outside of MMA in France and uh, they have to take their you know what to. To step inside and uh, you know to follow the process now because this sport is the only sport it, it's the biggest sport it's um it's the only sport where you you you, you can't ask for any more liberties in, in this sport two men in an octagon uh all gentlemen's uh rules on the other gentlemen's um uh, trap or weapons you can you can use them with a Liberty with a referee, or of course being there, but this sport is amazing. It's gonna grow, and everybody uh, has to love it, accept it, and uh, I'm a happy man to do my job. Congrats on the victory, and thank you for the message. Thank you very much.